On this problem, a circle's radius is increasing at half a foot per minute. And we wanna know how rapidly is its area increasing when the radius is four feet. So I like listing out all my information from the very beginning that the circle's radius is increasing, so it's gonna be positive at 0 0.5 feet per minute. So dr dt, the rate at which the radius is changing with respect to time is 0 0.5 feet per minute. What we want to know is how fast is the area increasing? So dA dt, that's our real unknown in this one, when the radius r is exactly four feet. All right, with all that information, we're talking about the radius of a circle. So we should probably pull up the, uh, the area of a circle, I should say, that the area can be represented with pi multiplied by r squared. Now we're gonna use implicit differentiation here, differentiating with respect to our time t. So we wanna figure out dA dt, the derivative of our area with respect to time, and that derivative of a is just gonna be one, equals pi, bringing along that constant, and then the derivative of r squared is gonna be two r, just using the power rule there, but then we also need to include a dr dt because we just differentiated our r with respect to time. All right, now that we've taken the derivative, we want to still calculate dA dt. So I'll leave that on the left-hand side by itself. Then we have pi times two times, for the radius, we're going to plug in four feet. And then finally, where we have dr dt, we were given that that was 0 0.5 feet per minute. So substituting that in as well. Uh, now it's just a matter of doing a little bit of simplifying down that we have two times four times a half is gonna be four pi. And then our units as we multiply those is gonna be feet squared per minute for dA dt. And that answers our question. Um, the, the radius or the area is changing at four pi feet squared per minute at the time when our radius is four feet. All right, so when you set this up, figure out exactly which equation you need, uh, what you're looking for to be changing. So in this case, it was area. List out all the values you know, and also what you don't know and what you're looking for. It's always helpful when you're doing this. And then whenever you differentiate, say an A with respect to time, you get a DA DT. When you respect, uh, differentiated your R squared, you're differentiating R with respect to time. List those out, don't forget them, and then plug in the numbers that we were given from the beginning. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck to you.